Secret Service has officially closed its investigation into the cocaine found at the White House, claiming they were unable to find a suspect. However, they did admit that cocaine wasn't the only illicit drug discovered at the White House. Marijuana was found at least twice last year. But as is the case with most of this Democrat-infested government, they kept it a secret from our people. Let's bring in our panel, host of the Trish Regan Show and editor-in-chief of TrishIntel.com, the great Trish Regan and former California congressman, former chair of the House Intelligence Committee and CEO of Trump Media and Technology Group, the equally great Devin Nunes. Hey, guys. Nice to have you both here. Hello. Uh, Trish, you first. Thank you. After the Secret Service briefing, Representative Jamie Raskin said drug tests shouldn't be necessary. Watch this. I don't know how many people would want to go to the White House if they were going to be administering a drug test on the way in, which is what some of my colleagues have suggested. <laughs> Typical of a Democrat trying to muddy the waters and obfuscate. Not only does Raskin appear to be supporting the use of illicit drugs, he intentionally ignores the real problem here, the security implications, that it's apparently easy to anonymously bring in a deadly, illegal, powdery white substance into the White House. Your thoughts? Look, it, it's so bizarre to me. I've been to the White House multiple times, as I know Congressman Nunes has been as well. And look, there's a whole security apparatus. I mean, they got to clear you. They got to have all your information ahead of time. You go through uh, the, 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 the x-ray machine. You have bomb sniffing dogs, drug sniffing dogs. I assumed, I mean, because these are just things that naively, I assume, how do you get cocaine into the White House, let me ask? How do you get marijuana in there? I mean, you wouldn't be able to get through an airport with that stuff, and yet somehow you can get into the place that should be the most secure in the United States of America. It's bizarre, and it's bizarre of Raskin to be like try and pretend like this is something other than what we all kind of suspect. It's also bizarre to suggest that nobody's going to want to <laughs> go to the White House if they have to take a drug test. I'm sorry. Oh. Okay. Come on, come on, Devin. The, the the Secret Service can't find can't find who the who brought the coke to the White House. But the FBI, you know, we found out they spared no expense in targeting their political opponents. As we just learned, they spied on you and your staffers while you were uncovering the Russia collusion hoax. I want to know why why we are forced to fund a political organization. What do you want to know? Well, look, I think when it comes to the cocaine at the White House, the reason they haven't found the culprit is because they haven't looked. You would have to actually run a real investigation. You would narrow this down very quickly. Ooh. There's probably only roughly 50 possible suspects, I would say, because you could rule out a lot of people. And then you go take a simple drug test. I mean, look, I think it's very difficult to get a substance, any type of drug substance through unless you had an easy trip through the security. Who are the only people that can get easy trips through the security? One, congressmen mm -hmm. and senators, and then likely mm -hmm. family members of the president and the vice president. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's probably where I would start to look. Yeah, and then I would ask, who's running the Secret Service? Chief Justice John Roberts? Must be, because, you know, because Chief Justice John Roberts can't find who leaked the uh, Dobbs decision either in that very, very tiny universe of people that it could be. Uh, Trish, 2015 email chain exposing the, quote, ultimate purpose of Hunter Biden's role at Ukrainian energy company Burisma. You know, he couldn't speak the language. He has no experience in energy, but he got the job. They hired him so he could be the go-between, so they could illegally buy influence from Joe Biden. And we have Biden on tape admitting the oligarchs at Burisma got what they paid for. Listen. They were walking out to press conference. I said, no, nah. I said, I'm not going to, we're not going to give you the billion dollars. They said, you have no authority. You're not the president. The president said, I said, call him. <laughs> I said, I'm telling you, you're not getting the billion dollars. I said, you're not getting the billion. I'm going to be leaving here. And I think it was what, six hours. I looked, I said, I'm leaving in six hours. If the prosecutor's not fired, you're not getting the money. Well, son of a <laughs> got fired. Okay, that was uh, from 2018. President Trump was impeached after being accused of what Joe Biden just admitted he did. Isn't the GOP to blame for allowing this double standard of justice to exist? Yeah, that's an interesting question. Look, I mean, there's a lot of people to blame, right? In including the Biden family itself. One should think, hey, you know, maybe, maybe, son, you don't want to take this gig because it, it might just look a little inappropriate. So there's that. There's also the media, which is just a, you know, complete 
vacuum in terms of this entire story, right? Nobody's covering it other than you, Chris, and, and folks over here. I mean, mm -hmm. it is really a travesty that we are not holding the White House accountable for this. As for the GOP, yeah, you know, look, the GOP could do more. I think that there are many, many, many problems with the GOP, and we'd need like an hour to, to get into all that. Um, but they've kind of let this ship sail in more ways than one, and it could come back to haunt them in, in a very powerful and meaningful way for not only the party, yeah. but for the country and all of us taxpayers. Well, see, you took me right there. That's exactly what I was going to say. I could care less whether or not the Republican Party suffers. It's the American people I care about. And Devin, Joe Biden doesn't seem to be concerned about any of this. He took off for another vacation this afternoon after he put in three, day, three days in a row, Congressman, three days in a row of work. Uh, so it, it's, it's over now. According to R the RNC, he spent 40 percent of his time in office on vacation. It makes me wonder... Who's actually running this country? What about you? Well, look, I think, you know, he was on vacation a few days ago with those ridiculous pictures of him on the beach. Now, think back. If George <laughs> W. Bush was had pictures of him out on the beach, and George W. Bush liked to cycle. He was a fit guy. But we would have had day after day after day, look at that crazy president out on the beach with no shirt on. This is ridiculous. Do we hear anything? No. Biden looked ridiculous out there. It's pathetic. I don't know who his handlers were that thought, hey, let's take this old guy out to the beach. Now, look, that was at the beginning of the week. Yesterday on his way out of Europe, I don't know exactly where it was, but I'm sure it's all over True Social right now. But did you see the weird picture of him like licking and, and, and kissing and sniffing the kid? I mean, look, this is, oh. I, I, I know we use Banana Republic, but how else do you describe it? You have cocaine in the White House. You have this crazy stuff going out on the beach. You've got him sniffing kids. I mean, look, it wouldn't be Fridays with Chris without uh, without a little bit of humor. Well, well, yeah. And see, it would be funny if it weren't all true. It's all true. And, and, and that's it's like sometimes I wonder what universe we all woke up in. Hey, I can't think of a better way to, to, have, to celebrate a Friday. Devin Nunes and Trish Regan, guys, thank you very much.